From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Cold front, look at this. 24 hour temperature changes 20 to nearly 30 degrees compared to yesterday morning. So it is much, much colder here in central, western, and northern Oklahoma following the cold front. We didn't completely clear out. Notice we still have a shield of high, thin clouds over downtown Oklahoma City this morning on our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network and also. Uh, that chill is in the air 30 at Will Rogers, but it feels like 19 degrees this morning. So the wind chill very apparent. The uh, pink freezing line hasn't budged much since uh, about 30 minutes ago, but it is one degree warmer in Norman now 33, a nice balmy 33 degrees, 29 in El Reno, mid 20s up to the northwest and in the panhandle. That's where the really chilly air is, but everyone's feeling a bit colder. Look at the winds right now. They're gusting 10 to 20 to 25 miles per hour through the afternoon. That'll let up, which is going to be nice. But why, while we have it right now, it feels like the teens and low 20s here in central Oklahoma feels like the mid teens up to the northwest. So especially chilly. I mentioned the wind is going to lighten up. Unfortunately, we're not going to warm up very much. So mid 40s, it's going to feel more like the upper 30s this afternoon at times. Definitely that chill in the air overnight. Not nearly as cold as this morning. We'll start to feel like the 20s as air temperatures only get in the mid 30s tomorrow morning. Those clouds working in from the southwest will eventually bring us rain, but it's going to take a while for it to get here. We're just mainly going to notice the clouds uh, for the day ahead. Thicker clouds out to the west and by 8 o'clock out in the Texas Panhandle, there's the rain that moves into western and southwestern Oklahoma first and then eventually Oklahoma City in the metro after midnight. So that'll hang out and be a cold rain as we go through the overnight period. And then by six, seven o'clock, we're drying out and looking to stay that way for a while tomorrow, though through the afternoon and evening, we could get another hit or miss shower here or there. But the real show is for overnight tonight. And then looking beyond this, Look at what happens all the way through the back end of next week. You see all those L's that came across the screen? Those aren't losses. Those are low pressure systems and we've got a ton of moisture. So consistent jet stream, all these arrows here, all this moisture that doesn't go anywhere, doesn't clear out. That means multiple days late next week where we could see some rain here in Oklahoma. 44 this afternoon, chilly again with that northeast breeze. Not as windy this afternoon as this morning, but still a cold wind. Low 40s up to the north, 40 this afternoon in Alva. This evening, 7 p.m. to midnight time frame, we're looking at western and southwestern Oklahoma for the rain to start to creep into the state. Maybe one sprinkle arrives in Oklahoma City before midnight, but then after midnight is when our rain chances really ramp up here and in southwestern Oklahoma, a very likely chance at some cold rain. No thunder to worry about, nothing severe, just a cold rain overnight. Some isolated showers possible up to the northeast as well. Overnight with the cloud cover, that's going to kind of help us not get too cold. We're talking just the mid and upper 30s for the morning tomorrow and then a south wind all the way through the afternoon helps us get back into the 50s across the state. 50 in Oklahoma City, 53 in Stillwater through Ponca City, 57 in Altus. So pushing 60 to the southwest thanks to that south wind that we see and then tomorrow afternoon and into the early evening maybe some additional sprinkles possible typically along and south and southeast of Oklahoma City and I-40. As we go through Monday a drier day another cold front arrives but before it gets here much much warmer here in Oklahoma City 69 and then 70s all across the south and southwest so a warmer afternoon before things get knocked down another peg just a little bit no especially cold days as we go through the back end of the coming work week but a more active set of days with rain chances returning Wednesday all the way through Saturday